Friday night, 520, sun's going down. Forms are pulled on this one. Looking real good. I just poured this one just now. Gotta finish her up before the sun goes down. Now, of course, I kind of went overkill on these, but this just happens to be some material that was laying in the yard. There was plenty of it to make all four of these openings. So this will be the frame welded to that rebar. I'll cut that down a little bit. And then I'll get them all somewhat the same height. A little close, anyway. And I had to purchase this tubing. So I like using these super magnets. They have these magnet square. I need to get these uh, welders square magnet deals. I don't have any of those. But I, I have a bunch of these super magnets because I'm always doing something goofy. I must have hundreds of these. And uh, But I did read somewhere that you don't want to get these exposed to extreme heat. So I just use them to get it tacked up and then I get them out of here. Because they say they'll explode. I've never did it, but I would be careful using them. These super magnets and getting them super hot. And then I'm going to put the tubing in just two frames. Get one side done. That way I can show you guys, see how it comes out. Make sure everything functions like I hope it does. Okay, I'm getting there. I wore out today. So, this will be up around right here. Maybe a little bit lower, but that's probably about where it'll be. I might cut that rebar just a hair, but probably centered up on this slab. So I can get the, uh, and this is going to be filled with concrete, and I'm going to have a probably some fiberglass sleeves if I can get them in here on time going through the, the concrete the wires will come through the sleeves either that I'll just leave a hole through the concrete for the, I don't know I'll, I'll come up with a way but I want to do that right away because I want to mount these so I can mount the frame without this door and, and get this sleeve in here later in a couple days that way I can get this concrete poured. I, I can do these two, once I get these two frames worked out like this tomorrow, I may get this poured tomorrow, I'm not sure. It's getting close, once these two, once these are done, it's, it's not gonna be much longer, at least on this concrete. I'll be out of the concrete finally. <laughs> so that the door will come off, it's gonna weigh about 900 pounds. I have two handles on it, probably up a handle up here and on the bottom. I don't know. I might put them on the side either way. Whatever works. Uh, I'll have a silicone, high temperature silicone seal here, or whatever works best. And uh, break the seal, pull the door off, and the element will fit through here. You might have to squeeze it. I might have to squeeze it just a little to get it through, but it does come through. I already did it. So there it is. Now it's, I know it's overkill, but this is free material laying in the yard. So, so I have this half inch tube sleeve so it won't collapse and crack the concrete when I fill it. All welded in. Welded the little tubes in. I didn't have that tubing. I had to go to Tractor Supply of all places had that half inch round tubing they had two lengths exactly what I needed so tomorrow I'll get the sleeves in this one half inch material and get that nuts welded on these once I get that done this is ready to put in place some of these projects I don't know that what I'm getting into till I till I get in the middle of them and I usually go overboard 